It's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. This, now this is real tea. Literally real tea. Okay. <clears throat> the National Desk is reporting that Detroit School Board votes to remove Dr. Ben Carson's name from public high school. <clears throat> Dr. Ben Carson's name will be scrubbed from a Detroit public high school after the school board voted in favor of removal last month. The move came after 80% of 1,500 people surveyed said that they supported the change. Carson said he's not surprised. Quote, cancel culture is alive and well and is infiltrating. Political correctness, wokeness, cancel culture, this is going to destroy us as a nation if we don't get a grip on it. End quote, said Carson. Carson says cancel culture has targeted him and he never considers himself a victim. Love him. Carson's education started in the Detroit public school system. Born into poverty and raised in a single mother household, Carson went from inner city Detroit to Yale University, becoming one of the most influential neurosurgeons of a generation. He actually doesn't say this in the article, but for those that don't know, I'm sure everybody who's listening does know, though, but I'll say it anyway. He was the first person to successfully, um, like, split conjoined twins. So this man is, like, the definition of black excellence. He's the definition of successful, his definition of just, like, a role model and to see that they're taking his name down is wild to me what are your initial thoughts freeman yeah so um call me uneducated but i did not know about this person or this story so i had to do some research um the story about the siamese twins i was so shocked to hear this and not only did he separate them he did so i believe no no, he did that, but he also did an operation um, involving the first intrauterine procedure to relieve pressure on the brain of a hydro, hydrocleptic, cleptic, cleptic. Oh, I don't know sciencey things, but you're right. I know what you're talking about. So he basically was able to like go in and split a fetus's brain and remove part the half of a brain from this fetus and whose name is Jesse and is doing well today. Yeah. So he removed half <clears throat> of the child's brain. In I mean, utero. it's he's amazing. I can't stop like talking positively about him. He's amazing. So why did the school board remove his name? I was trying to find information. I couldn't find anything other than he affiliated with um, Trump. Also, he received um, the 2008 Presidential Medal of Freedom from George W. Bush. So. Yeah. So but anyways, okay. back to my question. Okay. So the reason why they're upset is because he was part of Trump's affiliation. I think initially, so he actually, you were probably... Freeman is a sweet young babe. Um, so you are probably not old enough to remember this, but he ran for president against Donald Trump and all of them. So he was one of them. <clears throat> he left kind of early-ish on. And um, so eventually <clears throat> Donald Trump had him come on to as his uh, on his cabinet. And he was in charge of, um, oh, goodness housing i want to say the right thing um one second he his specific thing and then i actually have a story um a wonderful positive story that i heard from someone he was the uh, secretary of housing and urban development <clears throat> so he, under the trump administration now mm -hmm. i'm gonna be honest dr carson i have not heard anything like super like evil about him like you know there are some things we can say about um you know other people who have run for office and have become president or politicians but i can't really think of anything dr carson he's a christian um he's strong in his beliefs he stands up for the truth he's very <clears throat> intellectual and he's also quiet <coughs> so sorry everybody <clears throat> he's also kind of quiet i'm very humble he's very humble um, I'm saying this like I'm like <laughs> a friend of his, but Besties. yeah, you know, that one time we met, like, <laughs> um, <laughs> my dad was like, why don't you ask him to be on your podcast? And I was like, I can't just ask Dr. Carson to be on my podcast at a random yeah. event. 
I cannot that do would that. Be crazy. That would be crazy. If you are listening, Dr. Carson, you have an open invitation to the podcast. Um, <clears throat> don't know why he would be, but I would appreciate it if you were. Um, so, okay. So he was the secretary of housing and urban development. I think what it is, is they're just mad that he had any affiliation with Trump and they're mad that he had any affiliation with the Republican party in general. I think that him deciding to run as a Republican upset a lot of people because Republicans, um, don't do a good enough job explaining their story. They don't do a good enough job. Those of us who are conservative, I'll say this, those of us who are Christian conservatives, specifically pro-lifers, we have got to do a better job explaining our point. We have got to do a better job telling our stories. And I think that we have a bad reputation right now um, because, A, the people who are the loudest are not the kindest because Facts don't care about feelings, but people care about feelings. Nobody cares what you have to say until they know that you care about them. And I think a lot of people who are the loudest right now don't have that type of attitude. I'm not going to get into <clears throat> some of the people I'm talking about, but, you know, if you talk to me for five minutes, you know how I feel about certain people. So, like, that is a problem we have. And I think that there's people who are good people. And I would say even... You, like Dr. Carson specifically, people who are good people, who are pro-life, who are kind, who are Christian, who are leading in kindness, but because they're associated with this other thing, people automatically think that they're, they're, that they're something else. Um, <clears throat> so what I wanted to, a quick story about him, I wanted to say, when I went to the <sighs> Frederick Douglass <sighs> conference in Atlanta, I cannot remember the exact name, but it was a Frederick Douglass pro-life conference in Atlanta. Um, they actually had breakout sessions. And one of the breakout sessions, it was a, two ladies who worked for him under his administration. Um, and they had nothing but positive things to say about him. And I remember when um, Donald Trump appointed him as Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. Now, he's a neurosurgeon. I remember thinking, okay, I guess. In my head, I'm like, well, you know what? It's one of my friends. Right. In my head, I'm like, you know what? If one of my friends became president, I'd tell them, just put me anywhere too. That's what I thought. I was like, I can't be mad at him. Like, I'd be like, hey, just put me in any position. I'll figure it out. But what they made a good point it was he grew up in Section 8 housing. He grew up in government housing. He knows how it is living there. He knows that what needs to be that. done. Yep. Yes. So that was such a good idea to put him there because not only because a lot of times people who are the person who, who normally is in charge of secretary of housing and urban development has no idea how it was living there they have no idea how it feels they have no idea of like what the real issues are so because he had that knowledge had that personal experience he could help people and they were telling all these wonderful stories about how they've helped people and how they have uh he created a program where you can like um you earn your so like they have you have to go to like uh, job helping things so they help they teach you they're not just like okay you have to be in session eight like they're showing you how to like okay so this is how you budget like there's other pro in which you know there's nonprofits that do that a lot of churches do that my parents church does things like that which is great also too not everybody goes to church so you know if the government can do something like that i'm gonna be pro that i'm pro that if the government's gonna help somebody i'm okay with that um <clears throat> so those are some of the things he implemented so he's really like a awesome a fantastic man and unfortunately because of cancel culture because of also too i want to say ignorance um sometimes i don't necessarily mean ignorance in like a bad way i always have to remind myself i'm super into politics i'm super into all this stuff so i know all these things but some people might not know some people might have just seen his name trump administration dr ben carson and they just automatically went oh boo 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 um so yeah, because of all of that, he is no longer, his name is no longer on that school, which is just really sad how, how it's gone, like how we have gone from recognizing such an amazing man who's done, I mean, I can't think of anyone who's done anything greater, separating the twins, um, performing that procedure it, it, on a baby while the baby was still in the womb you know doing things like that like i can't think of anyone else who's been so relevant so amazing and in detroit which uh the school is a predominantly uh black school so it would be great to have a black role model such as dr carson as the name and it's just it's a shame it's really sad
It's really sad. Yeah, I would be interested to learn more about their reasoning. Um, <clears throat> I'm, of course, sad to hear that if it is the case that he was removed just because of his party affiliation, that's Crazy. really disappointing considering all of his achievements. Um, like I said, I mean, there are two sides to every story, so I would be really interested to hear what their argument is, if, if that's really the best that they're saying. You know. I would be interested too. I think you're making Freeman. I'm glad you said that. You're making a very good point. I'm curious. So um, how it probably went was, you know, they have the meeting. Someone stands up. I think we should keep it because blah blah blah. Well, I think we should remove it. Blah blah blah. Okay, supporting arguments. I think we should keep it because of that. I'm curious the people who said they should remove it. Like what else they could have said. Yeah, me too. I'm curious how that conversation went because. Like, if there's something I'm missing, I'm open right. to like, What am I missing right, right now? <laughs> Did he murder someone? Like, I, I'm just, I'm really confused. Um, But yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> well, um, a brand that will not cancel you. I don't know. I was trying to do a good transition. I can't think of anything. Um, <laughs> a science brand that I'm sure Carson would approve of. Yes. Yes. Um, it's Garnu. We're discussing Garnu. <laughs> they have period care products. Um, their tampons are made with 100% cotton core. <clears throat> they also have um, period cups. And if you use the code of the girl. 